Welcome to Rank Up Turn. Rank Up Turn is a reliable, automated, and sustainable digital infrastructure for all types of education institutes to scale up the digital transformation journey. It provides all the necessary tools and resources to automate the classroom and curriculum activities, accumulate the critical data, stay closely connected with the students, and to understand and fill the learning needs of students statistically in real time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz and collaborate with classroom of students. So here I have already logged into our teacher account. The teacher name is like Terry Anson. So this is the main dashboard of the teacher account. Here you can able to see the classrooms which has been assigned for the teacher. So now you can click on the desired classroom. And inside the classroom, you can click on the curriculum module. So here you can able to see the curriculum which has been assigned for this particular classroom for mathematics subject. So now I'm just going to create an activity for each and every learning objective. See here you can able to see the learning objective. So you can able to create an activity for each and every learning objective here. So now I'm just going to show like how to create an activity. So I'm just going to create an activity for the topic like integers addition and subtraction. So I'm just going to click on create activity. Once you click on create activity in this sense that will be automatically taking you to the task maker. So here you can able to see the grades and the subject and here under the type you can able to see like majorly like automation type, semi automation type and non automation type. Now I'm just going to show you like what is automation type. So any learning activity of schedule ensures the content delivery response collections and validation by itself is known as an automation type. Under automation, we have like live contest, quiz, mock test, challenge, formative assessment, examination, experiment, homework, and assignment. So now I'm just going to click on quiz type. So that let us see like what kind of response collection we have for quiz type and under like automation. So we have like choose the right answer, choose the multiple answer, choose the right answer with images, choose the multiple answer with images, true or false, yes or no. So these are the options which we have for the automation type for the quiz so now i'm just going to create an activity for quiz under automation type and you can check the curriculum objectives which is mentioned here which is like integer addition and subtraction so now i'm just going to create an activity so i'm just going with the response collection like choose the right answer so below i'm just going to give few options here So now you need to choose like which one is the right answer from the below option and here you can able to add the credit score so for each and every question like what is the credit score you want to give you can able to add that like one mark or two marks like what is the credit score you want to add you can able to add it so i'm just going with two credits for each right answer so and also you can able to give a negative credit for a wrong answer here so if you want you can able to use it like for each wrong answer if you want to or minus one mark or minus 0.5 mark in the sense you can use it so otherwise you can hide the negative credit and once you have added the question in the sense here in the right answer you can able to view the questions like how it will be viewed in the student view screen and also for this activity maximum up to 100 questions at a time you can able to add for this activity so now i'm just going to add another question here so now you need to choose like which one is the right answer here and I'm just going to add one more question. So now you need to choose which one is the right answer. 
so here now you can able to view in the students view screen you can click on the previous questions and you can able to view and this activity if you want to save this activity in a draft in the sense you can able to save the activity here or else if you want to create and schedule in the sense you can create and schedule for this particular classroom here so here you can able to check the classroom and the targeted group and you can mention the dates so here like if you want to schedule this activity for today in the sense you can go with today's date or if you want to schedule the activity for some other day or like uh, for next week in the sense also you can able to create that today so now i'm just going with today's date and timing is an optional one if you want to mention the timing in the sense you can declare activity as a teacher if you want to create an activity and assign it for the classroom for particularly one hour in the sense you can go with the timings here so then uh, now i'm just going with the publish option so here for publishing the activity you have like two options publish now and publish later so if you want this activity need to be visible immediately to the students activity or page in the sense you need to go with publish now option so if you are going with publish later option in the sense you need to give the date like on later on in the sense on which date you want this activity need to be published so for example i'm just going with uh, december 21st or december 22nd in the sense i can give some particular date so that this activity will be published on that december 21st on the student screen before that a student couldn't able to view this activity whether the teacher is available or not this activity will be published to the students immediately so now i'm just going with today's date i'm just going with the option publish now and i'm just going to schedule the activity so the activity is scheduled successfully so here you can able to see the activity which we have created now that you can able to view the activity here for integer addition and subtraction you can able to view the activity and now i'm just moving on to the feed column where you can able to view the activity which shows like due on 12 hours due on 12 hours right you can able to view the activities here So you can click on the activity and you can able to see the questions which you have given. Once all the student in this particular classroom has been responded in the sense as a teacher, you can able to view the what is the overall classroom statistics for this particular activity can be viewed by the teacher here. So this is how, as a teacher, you can able to create a quiz and collaborate with the classroom of students and a rank up ten. Thanks for watching. Get started with a free subscription today. Rank up ten LMS is an innovative one-stop solution. Provides all the necessary tools and channels for your institution to systematically amplify the personalized learning, automate the classroom and curriculum activities, and provides the proper channels for all stakeholders. to statistically understand and fill the learning needs in real time happy teaching and learning